This is a presentation I gave at the 2009 National Vegetable Industry Conference in Melbourne on May, the 6th of May 2009. My name is Peter Schroes and I'm the founder of our family business, Peter Schroes and Sons Vegetable Farms. My wife and I together with our three sons are directors of our company. We employ approximately 60 staff and operate a 400 acre property 55 kilometers south of Melbourne. In 2004 we published our sustainability efforts brochure. We have successfully used IPM for the last nine years and to explain how and why we came to adopt IPM I need to fill you in on a bit of history. My family migrated from Holland to Australia in 1954 at the age of 15, I started work in Moorabbin with Mr. Henry Mounsey, who was a prominent celery grower. I remember him using nicotine to control insects in his crops. And I remember his neighbour using kerosene to control weeds and carrots. I remember the progress in controlling insect pests when DDT became available and later for me to Cystox. By 1960, the impact of chemical companies researching and developing a chemical for every problem we experienced in agriculture had begun. My wife and I started on our own in 1964 on a 20-acre property north of Cranbourne. We were guided and led by the Department of Agriculture in the practices that we adopted, which basically meant that there was a product on the shelf for every insect pest or disease that we could encounter. In 1983 our three sons came to join us in our vegetable growing enterprise which was only small at that time. I involved their son Darren with our spraying program and he very soon pointed out to me that he was not happy with the way stronger and more dangerous chemicals kept appearing on the market to combat our farm problems. It was in 1990 that we moved to our current property where we had, a, had to start afresh. For a number of reasons, the first five years were very difficult. We suffered many crop losses, but looking back, we learned more than we realized. We became aware that many things we were doing were not sustainable. Our focus then started to shift towards what is best practice. In 1998 my wife and I took a holiday to Europe and spent some time in Holland visiting family. Some of my cousins run glasshouse production operations of tomatoes and capsicums and I learned that they were using IPM successfully indoors. As we travelled in the south of Holland we passed an orchard that was also using IBM outdoors. That interested me. We visited the orchard and received some information about their practices. My mind was sticking over and when I came home I discussed this with our three sons but we could not see how we could adopt IBM on our larger scale enterprise outdoors. In the year 2000 Darren realized that his battle to control two spotted mite in our leek crop had become futile. There were no chemicals to control the pest, even though he had a regular spraying program. It was then that we learned that Tom Schroes from J and JM Schroes and Sons had engaged Paul Horn, an entomologist, to work on IPM with their celery crop. We decided to contact Paul Horn. He came and observed the problem we had and recommended that Darren should stop spraying chemicals, which we apprehensively did. The two spotted mites had totally infested our leek crop. Paul Horn had shown Darren some predatory mite, Persimilis, that can control two spotted mites. Darren wanted to be convinced that this would work and set up his own experiment in a controlled environment to see what would happen. He found that within three weeks there were no more two-spotted mite left. 
That was the beginning of a change in our method of operation. Best practice became our focus. We became more conscious of our soil biology. We used to annually plow our soil to a depth of 450 millimeters. So in fact we used to bury our active more microorganism layer and turn the more dormant soil to the surface. We have changed our method of cultivation aiming to keep disturbance of our soil structure to a minimum. We follow a rotation program of our four different vegetable families and plant green crops to be incorporated back into the soil to feed the microorganisms. We try to keep our soil alive at all times. Water became an issue. As a southeastern growers group, we began lobbying the government for recycled water from Melbourne Water Southeast Treatment Plant. Tyco, a private company, approached us in this regard. After five years of lobbying and going backwards and forwards, we finally had Class A recycled water flowing into our property. We now heavily rely on recycled water. All water that we use, all water used in, on our property is also collected through underground drainage and silt pits from our washing shed. This water is recycled back into our storage dam. We also have a sophisticated computer controlled irrigation system to reduce water wastage. Our biodiversity policy is based on wanting to leave our land in a better condition than it is now. In our design of our farm layout, corridors of native vegetation, trees and shrubs have divided our 20 to 30 acre lots of cropping land. These corridors harbour many beneficial insects and small insect eating birds. They also provide wind protection to avoid soil erosion. Our native bird and animal population is constantly increasing. Energy conservation. Our packing and machinery sheds are located in the centre of our 400 acre farm to limit travelling of all machinery. Our harvesting teams are instructed to always travel with full loads. Our grant work has been reduced to minimal tillage and our cool room equipment is kept in top condition all to save energy. We've also changed over from fixed pumps and motors to variable speed motors for our irrigation system. This also reduces electricity consumption. We are currently researching solar panels for the roof of our packing shed to become more self-sufficient in our energy needs. We also operate under a number of quality assurance certifications, namely SQF 2000, Woolworths, Coles and Envirovich. Our website is leaks.com.au. You'll find much more information on that. Thank you.